Hello everybody, it's Tom and today's video is about the B-Link EQR6 again. Weird, but ah, this version has a much better CPU, so just how much better is it than the one we just talked about previously with just the Ryzen 5 6600H? Now before we dive into that, let's take a look at all the specs. This specific version of the EQR6 makes use of the Ryzen 9 6900HX, 24GB of DDR5 RAM and 1TB and an SSD. The Ryzen 9 6900HX is a much needed improvement from the Ryzen 5 6600H, especially for graphical tasks. We're moving on from the Radeon 660M to the Radeon 680M. We're now in the big leagues, fellas. Kidding aside, the 680M isn't really a huge improvement from the 660M, but it's noticeable enough to actually be worth it in my opinion. Now, just like the previous EQR6 we talked about with the Ryzen 5 processor and all that, this version with the Ryzen 9 6900HX is perfect for those who need a mini PC for pretty basic mundane or trivial tasks or maybe for businesses or students or professionals and then throw in some more gaming on the side. And as for gaming, I think the 680M should do for some light gaming and with that being said, let's squeeze in some benchmarks of the 680M. Let's start with a graphically forgiving title, GTA 5. 1080p at high settings and this game runs pretty well. You can expect an average FPS of more than 70 in most cases. I think that's pretty darn good for an iGPU. And how about Forza 5? 1080p at medium settings yields similar results with FPS averaging around 70 to 80 FPS most times and occasionally reaching 90 frames per second. I guess you could say you could do some gaming on this mini PC. The 24GB of DDR5 RAM are a decent amount of RAM for your needs, but that's also upgradable. To be fair, I think 24GB is just fine, but if you should still need more RAM, then I've got just the thing for you. Also, why is it 24GB? That's a bit of an odd number, and yes, you are correct. Most PCs have like 8, 16, then 32, then 64, then 128, and so on, but this has 24. Is it a 16 gigabyte stick and an 8 gigabyte stick? Nah, this one uses two 12 gigabyte sticks. Odd choice, but those exist. The storage is upgraded from the previous model we talked about. This version has a terabyte of storage, and I think it's great. You could still upgrade this by installing an extra SSD in the free slot, but I'd only really recommend upgrading if you really need it. Anyhow, you can scan this QR code to get to the product page of this version of the EQR6 with the Ryzen 9 6900HX or click on one of the links in the description below. For the RAM kit, you can scan this QR code and for an extra SSD, you can also scan this one. Anyhow, it's Tom, toodles!